Okay, first up we have Jeffer. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. Okay, let's watch it again. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. I think it's looking really good. I, it's good that you've got the head movements timed with the um, the tone and the voice. Um, Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. I think the second one came a little late. I might scoot those keyframes a little earlier, that second head movement. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. And I think you could also move like move a little quicker and, and it's kinda between there and there it's sort of it never stops moving in kind of a slow, even way. And I would tend to kinda you know uh, move quicker to a hold, and then hold it, and then move quicker to another hold, and then hold it, rather than having this kind of slow, even, constant movement. That's exactly what they take. Uh, and the timing of then the actual... Then you hear for life. That's exactly what they take. The timing, actually, of the actual mouth movements look pretty good. So, yeah, you've done a nice job on this. Good work. Okay, this is Kendra. Then you hear for life. That's exactly what they take. Okay, let's watch it again. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. I think this is looking good. Uh, I like um, the kind of sinking head here because it follows the sort of emotion of the of the quote, um, which is you know think about it, kind of a depressing quote. So you know, having someone be feeling kind of down about it works well. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. There's something a little... It looks... Well, I guess I would have cut it off a little sooner and not add this last couple seconds of, you know, the frozen thing at the end. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. And maybe just... Yeah, I mean, if it's still... Anyways, yeah, I think if you cut it off there, that would solve that issue. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. Good. Another thing I can mention is that, you know, there's this idea of a hold, but then there's what they call a moving hold, where it stops moving, but there's a, like a tiny bit of movement on it to keep it sort of alive. Oh, you know, the other thing is his, uh, you should make that part of the blend shape so that it moves with his chin. There's a couple different ways to do that. Um, one is, you know, just make sure it's included in the shapes of your blend shape, but the other way is instead of, um, binding it, you can make the face a wrap deformer for that little chin beard, and then, uh, it should move with it as opposed to binding it. It would be instead of binding it. It's another approach. Okay, this is Princeton. Uh, the first thing I'd say is uh, this is much easier to look at if you hide the um, controls when you do your play blast because they're very distracting. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. Uh, one thing that's good about this one is that you've got the body moving in it and not just the head and neck. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. I would try to look for moments to put holds in because he's kind of, if you watch it, I'm just going to play it without the sound for a second. He sort of never stops uh, moving his body and head, so it would be good to like hit a pose, hold it, hit a pose, hold it. Um, and again, you can do slightly moving holds so it doesn't look too frozen and mannequin-like, but uh, that can be better than having the kind of constant drifting movement. And also, um, see how the body moves, you know, they all move together. If you have the head kind of counter animate the body, it can, because right, that movement looks a little stiff just because the head and neck, and, you know, the, the head and neck don't move independently from the spine, but if they, if they kind of move in a different way from each other, like maybe as the body leans forward, the head tilts back a little bit, um, it can feel more alive. Okay, this is Kobe. 
send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. Uh, so one thing is that it's looking a little stiff, and that's partly because there's no no movement at the beginning, and also it appears to be in a sort of very kind of upright default pose. Um, so it looks like he moves a tiny bit there. No, he doesn't. Okay. So he's totally frozen for the first, well, for most of it up until right near the end. So I think you'd want to hit a couple poses. You know, send you here for life. You know, kind of life is, you know, you can kind of see the head tilting up on life, maybe. You know. That's exactly what they take. And he shakes his head there. Um, also, the, all the movements seem a little kind of jumpy and quick. Like, if the mouth moves, like, that's like, just like, one frame open and close. And generally, it's going to be longer than that. And if it is that short, then the mouth should move less, right? Otherwise, it has this kind of... Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. A bit of kind of a poppy, jerky look to it if, if, the, if it goes too fast. So if you have to go very fast, and you'll notice this if you watch someone talking very quickly, you'll typically you'll notice that their mouth moves less distance than if they talk slower. Um, because it's going so fast they can't move large amounts over a short period of time so I think if it's very quick the distance goes down that it moves but also I just think generally the mouth is some of the movements are a little too fast and jumping. Then you're here for life that's exactly what they take. And you can do a couple more head movements there. All right. Okay this is Mercedes. Uh, first thing is I would have the camera, you know, give us a better view of the face for this and also hide the controls and deselect it so we're not seeing the wireframe so we just get a better view of it. Send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. Um, it looks like your lip movement is good, but obviously you didn't get the thing moving around. You said you had some problems with the rig. Um, so, um, yeah, we, you know, we could go back and take a look at the rig file. Um, if you want to post that, we can review that and see if we can get that working.